With interest rates on the rise, many home buyers are worried about paying the mortgage. But the advice from experts who've seen it all before is don't panic. It could even be time to put the banks under pressure. Last week's 0.25% reserve bank rate hike signalled the tide has truly turned. I expect to see, in my view, at least four more rate rises. For those still trying to crack the market, it means higher mortgage repayments after you've cobbled together a deposit. And saving that 20% is hard. Comparison site Finder did some tongue-in-cheek research showing you'd need to forego up to 52,000 takeaway coffees. At one a day, that's 143 years worth. But... Don't panic. For those with a mortgage, there are five crucial steps to managing rate rises. The most important thing is to ask yourself, what am I now paying? And remember... Loyalty does not pay. On average, a bank charges a new customer 0.43% less on a home loan than an existing customer. Go to your existing lender, ask them, do you have a rock-bottom deal? And consider getting free professional advice. Too complex a decision to make on your own. I really would say to everybody, go and talk to a mortgage broker. They don't charge you a fee. If you're struggling... Go and see your bank and tell them you've got a few problems that you need to sort of get some relief for a period of time. It's, it's some scary times ahead, but ones that can be managed, um, we'd recommend you get the right help. The fifth step is now is a good time to review your household budget. Switching to the best deal for expenses like current health insurance will give you extra savings and a buffer against higher mortgage repayments to come. Gemma Acton, 7 News. And we'll have part two of our interest rate series tomorrow night. But weather now. Tony, what's the latest on that rain? Well, Max, while heavy rain is set in for the north and west of the state, it has been mostly dry in the southeast so far today. A few spots recording over 10 millimetres on the Sunshine Coast, not too much south of about Brisbane. And you can see it's only patchy on the radar this evening. A little bit warmer than yesterday, 17 up to 24 degrees in Brisbane. Now zooming out, here is the latest radar. A huge rain band now stretches from the Gulf through central and western Queensland and down towards the southern border, just that lighter activity north of the southeast. A flood watch is current for much of the state, with the severe weather warning here covering the risk of heavy rain and flash flooding in the north. Now looking ahead, expect that main band of heavy rain to sweep across the tropical coast overnight, reaching the central coast, even the northern Capricornia by late tomorrow. Latest models are keeping it offshore a little bit earlier than first thought. That should then clear, as I've mentioned, with another band of storms potentially stretching from inland spots towards the coast on Friday. All the while, that main rain band is likely to miss the southeast, but steady rain is on the cards here for the next few days. Now, here are the latest forecast rain totals over the course of the next four days. Heaviest around Townsville, Mackay, even Rockhampton, with parts of the southeast also likely to add up to around even just over 100 millimetres. Now onto the forecast. Showers and storms for Cairns tomorrow. The band of heaviest rain should sweep through Townsville overnight and early morning, then plenty of showers into the afternoon. And heavy rain also possible through most of the day in Mackay with flooding pretty likely across the central coast. That heavy rain should also push south to Rockhampton and Gladstone, then lighter and steadier rain for the coast and ranges down towards Toowoomba and Stanthorpe. Across the southeast, that wet weather redevelops overnight with moderate rain through much of tomorrow. Flash flooding possible if we do get the odd heavier storm, but it should be steady through most of the day. A touch cooler than today as that cloud thickens, tops of 23 along the Bayside and 22 at Mount Gravatt. In Brisbane, rain on the forecast, totals between 30, possibly even up to 50 millimetres, so please be careful on the roads, 19 to 22 degrees. Now looking ahead, more steady rain through Thursday and Friday, the odd shorter heavy burst in Ipswich, also a dreary finish to the week before it finally eases back around Saturday. A few sunny breaks returning by the afternoon, similar on Sunday and Monday, warming up to 26 degrees on the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coasters. Rain totals are likely to add up over 100 millimetres over the next few days. Please watch for any flash flooding and it is also the, the case for much of the tropics over the next 24 hours. Shona Max, it's back to you. Some wet weather ahead. Thank you, Tony. And that is all from us this Tuesday. Thanks for your company. From all the team, have a good night. Good night.